Hi, I'm Realtor Bird today, and welcome to another edition of Sipping Coffee or Tea with Realtor Bird today. Hope you're having a good day, and uh, this educational video series uh, that you maybe you're following by now, you've seen quite a few different perspectives uh, and some opinions and some and a lot of facts. Uh, this one's an interesting topic, and uh, it's actually one that I wanted to kind of talk about because uh, here we are in January of 2024 and it, there seems to be a lot of activity uh, in the marketplace believe it or not already I can tell you from first-hand experience I have a listing uh, we uh, listed just before uh, the holidays and we had uh, about a lull you know where people a lot of folks were out of town and so forth for about a week or so you know but start to finish I mean it sold in 23 days which is pretty darn good uh, so, in this uh, series, uh, Sipping Coffee uh, or Tea with uh, Bertade, uh, we're going to uh, explore, uh, I guess, the, uh, the misconceptions about the real estate business. Uh, we're going to uh, try to maneuver through the hype, the hoopla, and yes, even media negativity surrounding uh, the real estate industry. Uh, certainly here in San Antonio, you get a lot of different opinions, but Today's an interesting topic again because it's should you update your home uh, or move to another home, right? The house you're in now, do you stay or do you move? And this is such a lengthy topic to cover. I decided to cover it in two parts. So today's uh, part one. We'll be going over uh, a few more aspects uh, in part two. The first one is, of course, updating your current home. So. Uh, deciding whether or not uh, your current home uh, still suits your needs or if you need to update to a different home is going to depend on a lot of different factors, right? Obviously, uh, number one, obviously, p personal preferences. You'll also be looking at your financial situation as well as your long-term goals. Uh, however, in today's video, we're going to talk about uh, some considerations that might help you kind of stimulate thought as to whether or not you stay put or you move, should I stay or should I go now, right? Uh, like the Clash song says. Uh, so updating your current home is today's topic. And uh, we're going to be talking about first the budget, right? So renovating uh, or updating your current home can be um, uh, the most cost effective um, way to obviously uh, move forward in a different space, right? Because obviously your space is going to be yours no matter what. However, maybe it does uh, need a little bit of an update and you'll decide that you'll want to uh, to stay if you can uh, renovate the house. You don't know how many times I've had sellers tell me, well, let's renovate the house first. As you might remember, um, uh, we uh, are, are very closely affiliated with the REAP franchise, right? Uh, here in San Antonio. Uh, Santino Properties is. In fact, we're under the same roof here in this office here on on uh, Loop 410. And you'll find that a lot of folks were like, okay, because REUP comes in and they, they front the capital for renovation, thereby making the home a lot more uh, attractive to the pr prospective buyers, right? The modern day buyer wants to move right in. Maybe still has that 1980s wallpaper, maybe some wood grain paneling and so forth. Whatever the case is, we renovate the house and it looks so beautiful that the family will say, you know what? I like it so much. I think I might want to stay. <laughs> so that happens, right? So maybe updating the home is what is exactly what um, is in the cards for you, right? Maybe that's the best choice. Uh, remember that um, I'm a one-stop shop for anything related to uh, the home, to real estate, not just real estate, but we're talking about uh, tax consultants, right? Tax tax strategists, for example, attorneys, uh, and then again things that are related to the home, such as plumbers, electricians, general contractors, things of that nature. So, uh, reach out to me if you have any questions about uh, updating your home, renovating it, and we can also do you know a an updated equity analysis to see what the home is worth first of all, right? And if it were updated, this is what I do for re up all the time, right? This is part of my role uh, as a broker consultant to re-up uh, here with Santino Properties, my business. 
Uh, so what we'll do is we'll come in and we'll say, well, here's the as is value and here's the uh, after repair value. Okay. And with that Delta, we cover at closing, uh, the cost for the renovation is covered. And then whatever's left over for the upside, right? Or the new value that is created by that renovation uh, that re -up, uh, fronted that capital for, it's split 50-50 uh, on the settlement statement with the seller. So they're partnering with the home seller. So I can give you that updated equity analysis. I can give you an analysis of what it would be for re-up, right? So it, it's, again, should I stay or should I go? Well, just studying the numbers might help you decide that, right? Uh, I will say though, um, in the next topic, which is customization, uh, if you have the freedom to personalize the property and design the home to your exact preferences, again, talking about what, what we're discussing here, and creating the living space that you've always desired. Maybe you've been in the house and you feel like maybe you're dating the house in a sense, right? Man, I've been here two years and we've been dating. I've been going back and forth. Do I stay? Do I really like this house? Do I... You know what? Make the full commitment. Jump in with two feet and marry the house. That's right. Maybe it's time you've been dating for a while. Maybe it's time to make it your own, right? Renovate the house. Stay where you're at. Counterintuitive uh, because I'm a realtor after all, right? And as, as salespeople, we're expected to tell you, yeah, no, hey, listen, yeah, we want you to move. Yeah, for sure. And then the agent is looking at a double-sided transaction and yeah, that's terrific. And it can, maybe it's not in the, your best interest. I want to do what's in your best interest. So if I can be a catalyst to help you make that decision, I'm more than happy to do so. And I'll do that free of charge. As a resource to our San Antonio community, I'll be happy to, to go through the ins and outs of what it would be if you were to decide to sell. Uh, as is, what is, what would it be look like if you were decided to, to renovate and then sell? And what it would be, be look like, what would it look like if you were to, to um, strategize around a budget to update your current home. Stay where you're at. Reach out to me. Uh, my number's listed up above here in the post. Uh, there's also, I think, a link to WhatsApp, I think, in, you know, depending on what platform you're, 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 you're watching this on. And maybe it makes sense for you to stay put. Uh, so that customization uh, is, is something, that, of course, that you can make your own, right? And go hog wild, by the way. It's yours, right? If you're gonna stay, Paint your house with lime green, whatever. You know, my first house I have with my wife, you know, we went all, we lived in, in uh, the Rio Grande Valley and we were just like, you know, let's go crazy with some colors and paints and let's, you know, kind of bring out the, the Mexican in us and let's, you know, check it out. Let's see what we can go kind of nuts. At the end of the day, I think we ended up, when we sold the house, we ended up, you know, offering the buyer some sort of a concession for paint. It's just paint. Anything can be changed, right? So go crazy, you know? I will tell you though, remember we've talked about this in other videos, some of the customization that you make, some of the upgrades you make, even if, you, if it's just a kitchen remodel, you say, well, hey, I just remodeled my kitchen. It's gotta be worth a lot of money. Maybe, it depends on how personalized it is. Maybe it won't appeal to other buyers, but again, that's what we, what we bring to the table here at Santino Properties. And re-up is we can give you uh, the same, and by the way, if you wanted to stay, the same crews that would renovate the house if you're renovating it to sell would, would also, uh, we run three, four crews all around the ta all around the city. So, you know, the same crew can also help you with that renovation. So, and, and if not anything else, you know, at least give you some ideas on what that would cost. Uh, as far as ROI, we've talked about this in other videos. The return on investment is going to depend upon, you know, how personalized it is, but also um, I, I, I we keep very, very close tabs on the ROI for uh, renovations. Uh, I have a source uh, that I keep uh, very, very close tabs on for what you can expect in this market in San Antonio, in Bear County, what you can expect in terms of ROI. It's a very credible source uh, that I follow that can uh, enable us to look at what that renovation is, more or less what it's gonna cost, 
and what that return on the investment is going to be in terms of a percentage for this city it's area specific it's a great resource and i'd like to show it to you i'd like to show you how uh how you can maximize that that earning that future earning potential right if you make those renovations now again you may or may not get a dollar for dollar more times than not you're not going to get a dollar for dollar dollar return on that uh, investment especially if it's something that makes you happy and that's okay too i met with a home seller maybe i've told the story before in another video a home seller says hey I want to list for 40000 more because that's what it cost me to install all those palm trees and all my landscaping in the backyard around the swimming pool. I said, my friend, you're not going to get it. Let's say his name was Mr. Smith, right? So Smith, you're just not going to get it. Uh, yeah, but I want 40000 more from my house. I'm like, okay, but why should a buyer pay for your choice in trees, right? The market's not going to give that to you. Yeah, but I've spent 40. I want my 40 back. It's not a, it's not a dollar for dollar thing. And guess what? He ended up selling for 40,000 less because he wanted to, to get. And by the way, I didn't take that listing. I, I didn't want it. I, I don't I don't overprice homes. I, I just don't do that. I, my, my time's way, way, way too valuable. And I and my job is to is to get sellers to their re, to a reality to where their homes. We're going to price it in, in a way to cause it to sell right at a value it's going to cause it to sell that's how i sold a listing in, in over the holidays in 23 days right N not because i'm the good lord's gift to real estate is i'm not going to you know pat my you know hurt myself pat myself on the back it's because i li i list properties for the proper price at the from the beginning so um dollar for dollar is probably not going to happen and i did ask him i said did you enjoy the the landscaping he says oh yeah i used to sit out by the pool every day with my cup of coffee i kind of look at my plants and said there you go it cost you forty thousand dollars to enjoy the house so that's my recommendation to you in terms of customization customize it to your liking it can always be changed later whenever you do decide to sell location maybe the location you know uh if you love the current neighborhood that you're in uh and you have a com convenient commute uh, staying in the current location uh, you know can be in strong incentive you know to want to to renovate to stay put and uh, that's going to depend on a case-by-case -case basis maybe you really love the schools that your kids go to uh, maybe school choice is available to you within the same school district if you're in north side uh, ISD uh, maybe you're in northeast ISD wherever that is there's 19 different school districts in san antonio not including idea the idea schools so there's a lot of school districts in bear county and maybe staying put makes more sense because the kids are in school in a, a specific school you don't want to do to, to, to drive them back out to timbuktu even if you can't keep them in the same school so it's another thing to consider and finally you know avoid the stress of moving I moved enough times in my lifetime to tell you that, you know, it's, it's no fun. <laughs> Moving can be stressful and time consuming. And of course, you know, staying in the current home obviously helps you avoid uh, the hassle of relocating. And by the way, along those lines, like I said, as a one-stop shop for all things related to a home and business life, uh, I have a great resource uh, for helping seniors particularly seniors uh, downsize to a smaller space. Uh, I have companies that I work with that are um, uh, some that, that are, are in, in the estate sale business, uh, but some are specific, specifically help seniors to relocate and to downsize, to pack their belongings uh, for moving, uh, things of that nature, right? And these packing companies can be very helpful, particularly if, if you've had surgery or you can't bend over or things of that nature, uh, these companies can absolutely help you uh, to achieve the objective of moving or if it, even if it's just kind of decluttering and you're gonna stay in the house. This video is about staying in the house, right? Um, so yeah, there you go. I mean, uh, I think you'll find that in many cases, uh, the decision to update uh, or move uh, hinges upon uh, a combination of things, which could be financial feasibility, uh, can be your specific needs, desires, condition of the current home that you're in, uh, and of course, uh, the condition of the market, right? 
uh, the real estate market. So it would be helpful to consult uh, someone like myself in the real estate uh, business uh, that can uh, help you kind of maneuver through that decision making because it is a big step, right? It is a big decision to make. Uh, so you can keep in mind that there's no one size fits all answer uh, to this question and the right uh, uh, person. There's no one right answer for a person or family uh, and it's the best choice uh, for another, right? So it's a very big decision. Once again, does uh, uh, is, is it make more sense to stay in the house that you're in or relocate and move to another home? That was the topic of today's video. Uh, which is in the educational series of sipping coffee or tea with Realtor Bert Tade. I'm broker owner of Santino Properties LLC, Bert Tade. We're a boutique real estate brokerage uh, that focuses in on uh, the effective and um, very, very, very interesting use of marketing to help our buyers and sellers win in this competitive uh, San Antonio real estate marketplace. Hope you enjoyed the video and uh, be sure to leave me a comment below. I love to read all my comments. Reach out to me if you have any questions or we can discuss, you know, maybe the ins and outs of these two choices. Uh, that's it for now. Thank you for watching my video.